10. 10 now? It's more than the, the bigger one. Are you kidding me? No. I'm gently murder. We can't stretch them, so I'm just gonna put them as far as they go, which is, oh, murder. You, by Ooh, the way, yeah. you know, show, show the side. Show the side. 10 height means things that I can't live without. Holy <laughs> Now, this must be some next generation that we are all missing out. In case you don't know who this guy is, this is basically a beast sneak. You know the other hype beast guy that I covered? Well, this is him, but on another level. Like, this guy is not on another level. He's inside another dimension. What's going on, guys? It's Beast Sneak, and today I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to be telling you guys about my top 10 essential things that I need in my life that I can't live without. It includes materialistic items, and people materialistic items and people surely that sounds a bit little but don't worry guys we might find a few hobbies and a few life experiences in this guy's top 10 list but you know what let's find out what this whole list is going to consist of i have a couple things right here it ranges from materialistic items to people oh my god what a selection right there holy <laughs> it's not like you repeated the same thing just about four seconds ago so i guess to get started we'll start it off with one of the few hype beast things. The first thing is the Supreme Mophie battery pack. Now, I thought the Supreme stamp was a pretty useless idea. Well, now this guy is taking it to the next level. A freaking Supreme battery pack. I mean, I checked the stats of this thing and they're pretty average compared to the battery packs. But then again, this is one of the 10 things that this guy cannot live without at all. Second thing, chapstick. Um, this was sort of one that we... <laughs> We just put in chapstick this time. I mean, what's next? We're well, gonna have some really basic Nivea moisturizer on top as well. Third thing, my car, my car keys, my Range Rover, my all black Range Rover. Okay, right. So that's three materialistic items. Now, when we'll see some people, I mean, surely the next one should be a person. Jewelry, I guess. I'm just gonna put it on super quick. All right, all right. Jewelry might be number four, but surely, surely, number five has got to be at least one human being, right? Next thing would probably have to be my laptop. Oh, for f sake. Now this guy's really taking the piss. And I actually watched the video, and don't know when the first person comes in. It's actually his eighth item. All right, and then number eight is my girlfriend. She doesn't really want to be on camera that much, and we're not gonna get into it. Wow, finally a human being. That's his girlfriend. Now, that's the third most important thing. I wonder how we important the second most important thing in this life is. Number nine, it's probably just gonna be my camera. I use a Sony a7 R2 and it's a great- I mean, you must be in a relationship where you're valued less than a freaking camera. Now that's some next level dating right there. Number 10, the most important thing in my life. I talk to this person every day. This person is involved with my life every day. And number 10 is this person. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's salty. <laughs> Jake Rose, pop tag on the screen. This is my brother for life. Imagine having an object and a person valued more than yourself. But then again, this is the 10 hype beast things that he can't live without. So let's check out one of his other banging videos out there. Billionaire spends $20,000 hype beast shopping. Holy crap, beast sneak. Are you actually a billionaire? I mean, if you are, could you please buy YouTube and, you know, I'll hopefully be a bit more lenient on copyright than Susan is at the moment. You just get nervous when you walk away to those things without me. When I stay, I, I'm like pulled to this to this drawer right here. Doesn't this guy with shades remind you of the most cocaine sniffing, yacht driving, offshore banking, tax evading billionaire ever? I mean, it kind of reminds me a tiny bit of the guy that you find on Dragon's Den. Yo, dude, what do you want to do right now? Bro, I need to go shopping. I want. I mean, right here, we've got Nick Crompton in about 20 years time, chilling with a so-called billionaire. Is this what happens when England actually does become your city? Bro, I need to go shopping. I want to get some sneakers. And guess what? Prince Fred is in town. He's yeah, ready to yeah. spend. And you know what? He's been wearing V-necks and some cheap sneakers. Let's go. You know what, guys? You know what? I generally cannot believe this middle-aged 40-plus-year-old guy is literally behaving like some 17 year old teenager who constantly brags about what she's going to buy soon to all of her friends. Call Blake, see Let's if he's gonna be in stole stage. Hopefully I'll get some sh Prince Fred will become a hype beast and then it'll be better. If that wasn't the fakest phone call ever, I mean, the biggest giveaway is probably the time of the day. Blake here, he's like in midday, and you know this billionaire right here? Sure, yeah, yeah, the windows are blacked out, but it's more of a dusk evening time, and I can't actually believe they had to fake a freaking phone call just to hype up their shopping spree. After that intense phone conversation, then they decide to hit up the Supreme store. It's only a $1,000 shoes, so yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, those are gonna be too big for sure. Walking around two different pairs of shoes. Now that must be some 3018 level right there. I mean, this shoe connoisseur must clearly be an expert. But do you wanna know what the most expert thing about him is? It's the place where he's from and the way the billionaire describes it. This is our dear friend Prince Fred from Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi. Yep, that's right. That's his way of saying Abu Dhabi. I mean, how the f did this guy become a billionaire? Like, that's the biggest question I'm asking right now. But, you know, the rest of the video is basically them simply trying out stuff and then just buying stuff. However, the biggest highlight of the entire video is when Nick Crompton's dad actually changes his shades. 10. 10 now? It's more than the, the bigger one. Are you kidding me? No. I'm gently murder. We can't stretch them, so I'm just gonna put them as far as they go, which is, oh, murder. You, by the way. Yeah. You know, show the side. Show the side. Uh, you never see someone get as happy as that when putting on a pair of plastic rounded shades. Then he uploads a video called My Insane Jewelry Collection because only high beasts can have insane jewelry collections. What's going on guys? This is Blake Lender, aka B Sneak, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys all my jewelry. Right, first of all, mate, why on earth have you got all of your annotations in like some pixelated digital font? I mean, did you type this up on a microwave or something? But just before, just before he's about to show us his nice insane jewelry collection he has a big deep philosophical message for all of us on my drip so before i get into this video i just want to stress this point material items aren't the most important things in the world family friends and people that you know and just memories are so much more important mate a few videos ago you put all of the important people in your whole life on the back of your list of top 10 most important things ever it's over excessive it's unnecessary and i know but it's just something that i wanted to get into because i have the funds to do it i make a lot of money on youtube and this is just one of my little things that i really love and all these things are really special he really tries his hardest to hide his flexing by saying oh guys do not worry jewelry and all of these items they're not the only important things in life but hey did you know that i make a ton of money on youtube did you know that did you know that oh by the way did you also know that i've got an insane jewelry collection anyways guys please tell me in the comments down below what you think of this guy what you think of be sneaky do you like these hype beast people or do you think they're just absolute snobby twat tell me in the comments down below make sure to subscribe to the subscription button see you guys what's cool to hear